a selection shocker out of the All Blacks camp this evening. Mark Talia dropped for the team's Rugby World Cup quarterfinal against Ireland this weekend for breaching team protocol. Ollie Ritchie, our rugby reporter, had the scoop on this one. Ollie, what's he done, mate? Yeah, not a great look for Mark Talia, Andrew. Unfortunately, he missed the team curfew, essentially, so late back uh, to the team hotel after being uh, out at night. Not a good look. Ian Foster uh, didn't like it at all and was pretty firm in that. Dropped him straight away. Lester Fanga Anuku uh, onto the left wing, so into the naughty chair uh, for Mark Talia. Yeah, Ian Foster didn't like like it. Also didn't like the continued <laughs> questions about it at the press conference this afternoon. Understandable though, this is a huge game. A huge game for the All Blacks in this tournament. Not a great look and not what Ian Foster needs at this stage. It's a distraction they could do without, yeah. right? They've got such a big task and so much has been made uh, this week about the task at hand against world number one Ireland, who are widely favoured uh, to go all the way here in France. are on a 17-match uh, unbeaten run. This is the last thing Ian Foster and the All Blacks needed. Mark Talea has been very good for them. He's been a consistent selection for them uh, as well. And instead of kind of building up to this test match, suddenly the narrative has shifted uh, to this off-field behaviour, this off-field incident. They can certainly do without it. As you say, Mark Talea has been an outstanding form for this All Blacks team. What do they lose not having him against Ireland this weekend. Well, he often beats the first defender. He's very elusive uh, with ball in hand. That's why they like him. He will beat uh, that first man, often that second man. We've seen even through Super Rugby, through the international season, those amazing breaks he can make uh, really open up the game. So that's a big loss for them. Don't get me wrong. Uh, they have Lester Fanga Anuku, who can also obviously yeah. break the first defender uh, as well. So look, they lose a lot by not having Mark Talea there, but a big job coming up uh, for Lester Fanga Anuku. Yeah, Lester certainly brings a, a different skill set, doesn't he? So they don't necessarily lose an awful lot. I suppose the question now is, what if the All Blacks win this game? Where does this leave Mark Talia? Because Ian Foster made it clear that this, he's dropped for this week. But is he really going to get straight back into this team? He's got to regain and rebuild some trust, doesn't he? Yeah, certainly. This is now Lester Funga Anuku's spot, and Mark Talea has to go and take it back off him. So if the All Blacks are to win uh, this weekend and get over the top of Ireland, get into a World Cup semi-final, suddenly Mark Talea has a massive job on his hands. He has been one of their first choice wings alongside Will Jordan all year. Suddenly, he's got to convince Ian Foster that he should regain selection. What if Lester Fanga Anuku has a great game, yeah. scores three tries again, entirely possible. We know exactly the sort of form he can bring. As far as I'm concerned, that spot now belongs to Lester Fanga Anuku. Mark Talea must go and get it back. Hey, before we go, a couple of other talking points out of this team naming. Obviously, Tyrell Lomax comes back. I suppose the big surprise, though, is Finlay Christie over Cam Roygaard. The right decision or not? I don't think so. I, I think I like what they get with Cam Roygaard. He brings a point of difference. Big left-footed box kick, great running game. He could cut up that Irish defence uh, in and around the ruck. But Ian Foster's gone for a defensive nine. He thinks that's where a lot of the attention is going to be toward the All Blacks. He wants someone uh, who's a better defender, which Finlay Christie is. But I think they lose a lot by not having Cam Roygaard there. All right, give us your thoughts in the comments below. Obviously, we'll have more reaction on NewsHub Live at 6 and at newshub.co.nz.